everyone, and welcome to another English class. Today, I'm so happy to share this lesson with you. My name is Mr. Galvez, and I hope that you follow the lesson and understand the instructions. I hope you are okay taking care of you and your family at home. And remember, wash your hands and wear a face mask to cover your mouth and nose. And don't forget, it's very important to stay safe in your home. So today, we are going to make a review about the future simple using will and interrogative questions, short answers, and I show you some question words at the end of the lesson. As you remember, in the last lesson, you learned about the future simple in affirmative and negative. So, I need that you look this chart. We have the affirmative form. The affirmative form is very simple. We have the subject, the word will, and the verb in a simple form. So, read with me. I will play. You will study. He, she, it will work. We will eat. You will try. They will cook. The future simple structure is for introduce predictions, belief, or intention about the future. In this case, in the affirmative, we are saying the activity that we make in the future. Now it's time that you look the negative form using will. As an affirmative form, the grammar structure of the negative is very simple too. We have subject, will, plus not, plus verb in simple form. Read these sentences with me. I will not play. You will not study. He, she, it will not work. We will not eat. You will not try. They will not cook. Okay, the negative form is to the night predictions, beliefs, or intentions about the future. So, in this case, I need that you look the last part. Is the contraction of the words will not, won't. That want is the contraction form of will last not. Now it's time to move to the interrogative form. In this case, I need that you look. Do you see this chart? This is the interrogative form or questions. In the interrogative form, it's important because we are saying something about predictions, beliefs, or intentions about the future. The grammar structure is this, will plus subject plus verb in simple form. Read with me. Will I play? Will you study? Will he, she, it work? Will we eat? Will you try? Will they cook? Okay, these are questions. 
And remember, all the questions have an answer. And that is the short answer. So we have two ways to answer, in affirmative or negative. If we are using affirmative, the keyword is yes. In the negative, the keyword is no. Look in your screen, the short answers. Will you study? Yes, I will. This is an affirmative answer. Will you try? No, I won't. That is the negative answer. If do you see, we are using want. The contraction of will plus not. Now it's time to introduce the new vocabulary. These are action verbs. That mean movement or physical response. In this case, I have five action verbs. Read with me. Play, study, eat, work, cook. Play, study, eat, work, cook. We are using these action verbs to work with the sentences in the future simple. Okay, as I say at the beginning, the future simple in the interrogative form is for ask predictions, beliefs, or intentions about the future. I need that you remember this structure. Will plus subject plus verb plus complement and at the end the question mark. Don't forget Always we start the sentence with capital letter and finish with the correct punctuation mark. In this case, we are using the question mark at the end of the sentence. Now, look these examples. Will you work in a school? Will you play in the national football team? Will she wear address okay i read again will you work in a school will you play in the national football team will she wear a dress as as do you see we are using the correct structure Will plus subject plus verb plus complement and at the end the question mark. So at this moment I have three questions. This is a listening exercise. So I need that you put attention. I say the question and you try to find an affirmative or negative answer for each question. Number one, will you work in a hospital? Number two, will they play in the park? Number three, will she wear a dress? Try to answer these questions. I give you some minutes. Okay, I repeat again the questions. Number one, will you work in a hospital? Number two, will they play in the park? Number three, will she wear a dress? Okay, we start with the number one. I say an affirmative answer. Will you work in a hospital? Yes, I will. Number two, 
Will they play in the park? No, they won't. This is a negative answer. No, they won't. Number three, will she wear a dress? Yes, she will. Okay, good class. Now we continue. In this chart, do you see the short answers? And remember, for the affirmative, we use yes. For negative, we use no. And remember, the contraction in the negative for will plus not is want. Okay? I repeat again a question and I say an affirmative answer and negative answer for the question. Lesson. Will you leave tomorrow? Yes, I will. Affirmative. No, I won't. Negative. Okay, remember the short answers. Okay, guys, it's time to practice. And remember, we are trying to learn new language. So it's important to practice in your home. I have this chart. In this chart, do you see what is the difference between an affirmative, negative, and interrogative? In this case, we read just only the interrogative. All together with me. Will I play with you? Will you play with me? Will she play with you? Will we play with you? Will you play with me? Will they play with me? Okay. As an example, will I play with you? Yes, I will. This is an affirmative. Will I play with you? No, I won't. That is the negative answer. Try to practice in your home. Okay, good class. At the end, we have some question words. I have eight question words. Who, which, what, whose, when, where, why and how? Who, quien, which, qual, what, que, whose, de quien, when, cuando, where, donde, why, por qué, y how, como. Don't forget these question words. Who, which, what, Whose, when, where, why, how. Congratulations, seven graders. You work wonderful. Don't forget to practice the future simple in your home. Now it's time to say goodbye. Well, class, this program has to come to an end. See you next.